Yo, what's here guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time is just an embarrassing one, also a funny one. I thought you guys would enjoy it. If you do, leave a like on the video, and let's just jump right into this. So today's story time takes place in 2017. I had this friend at the time, let's just call her Sarah, okay? Now Sarah was a good friend of mine. I've known her for years. I still talk to her from time to time, but we don't talk much anymore. And, you know, she's a cool person. But the thing about Sarah is she was always chasing a bag. And what I mean by that is any given opportunity that she had to make some money, she would. And I don't blame her. Who wouldn't do that? But sometimes the money-making opportunities would be a little bit much for a person to do, and she would still pull the trigger on them. I'll give you an example. One time in school, when we were in class, someone offered her $20 to jump on the table and just scream as loud as she could, and she did it for 20 bucks. She got detention for an entire week for 20 bucks. In my opinion, that's not worth it. Don't get me wrong, 20 bucks is cool and all, but like detention for a whole week after school for an hour, that's seven hours of your time for $20. I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, yeah, that's one example, but this story time is another example, and it's a much bigger, just more crazy example in my opinion. So this story time all starts off as a normal day. I'm sitting in my room, just on my phone, in my chair, and I get a text message from Sarah asking if I want to hang out today. And I was like, yeah, of course I do. When you want to hang out? She goes, I can pick you up in like 30 minutes. I'm like, bet. So 30 minutes goes by, Sarah pulls up to my house, I walk out, get in the car, say what up to Sarah, ask her how her day's been, we get to talking, and she needs to go and buy a phone case. Now the only place nearby that sells phone cases is Best Buy. Now if you don't know what Best Buy is, but I'm sure most of you do, it's like a tech store, they sell like, you know, technology and shit, and other things, like, I don't know, household stuff. So me and her drive to Best Buy together, we get to Best Buy, we walk in the store, after that, she grabs a phone case, she buys the phone case, and then she decides that she wants to look around a little bit more just for anything else she might need. And I'm like, yeah, for sure. So me and her start walking around Best Buy. We go to the very back of the store. We're just kind of walking around the entire store looking at stuff. And we're in one of the back aisles of the store where no one really is. And she goes, yo, Austin. I was like, what's up? She goes, I just got a Snapchat message that you wouldn't believe. I was like, what does that even mean? Like, why wouldn't I believe it? She goes, look. And she shows me this Snapchat message from this dude that went to our high school, begging her for a picture of her feet. Yeah, in school, this dude was a pervert, so I'm not surprised that outside of school, after they graduated, that he was still a pervert. Doesn't shock me whatsoever. So I ask her, I'm like, you're not going to do that, are you? Because he's a weirdo. And she goes, no, 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 not unless he pays me. And then she goes, I'm going to ask him for 50 bucks. And I'm like, all right, like you do you. And she goes, hell yeah. So she asked him for $50, and he goes, I'll send you $50 if you could take them and send them right now. And she goes, I can't. I'm at Best Buy. And he goes, I don't care now. And she goes, no, you have to wait. And he starts, like, arguing with her, telling her that, you know, if she doesn't do it now, he's not sending the money. And I'm like, hey, um, Sarah, we're in the middle of a store where there's other people around. We should probably just leave the store first before you start selling feet pics, you know? We should probably just, like, you know, gather our things and leave. Let's do that first. And she goes, I know, but like, he's offering me 50 bucks. I'm like, Sarah, 50 bucks is cool, but I don't feel like getting banned from Best Buy because you can't keep your shoes on in the store. So let's just, you know, move out of here first. And she goes, okay, fine. So we start walking out of the aisle. We start heading towards the exit. And then this dude snap calls her, like calls her on Snapchat and goes, hey, where are my pics at? And I'm like, dude, this guy's insane. Like, what is this dude thinking? And she goes, hold on, we're leaving the store now. Give me five minutes. He goes, no, five minutes, no deal. And she goes, okay, hold on a sec. And she hangs up on him and then runs into one of the aisles where there's no people. And I follow her. I'm like, Sarah, what are you doing? She goes, hold on, this only take a second. And she starts taking her shoes off in public and then starts taking a photo of them on Snapchat. And right as she's about to take the photo, I hear some guy go, what's going on over here? And I turn around and it's a manager, a Best Buy manager, just standing there looking confused as ever as to why there's some random dude and some girl sitting on the floor taking a photo of her feet on her phone. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. We're just on our way out. And he goes, doesn't look like it. Looks like your friend's doing something in the aisle. And she goes, yeah, I'm sorry. Like we're leaving. And she starts putting her shoes on. And he goes, yeah, what are you guys' names? And I was like, Austin. And then she says her name. And he goes, don't come back here, Austin and Sarah. Just don't. And I'm like, wait, what? He goes, yeah, you have to wear shoes in the store. And if you're not wearing shoes, you're not welcome in the store. I'm like, yeah, but she had them off for like two seconds. Like, come on, don't ban me, man. I'm wearing my shoes. He goes, yeah, whatever. Just have a good one. And I'm like, dude, you can't be serious. 
He goes, have a good one. So I start arguing with him. I'm like, dude, come on. Like, I didn't break any rules. Like, what are you doing? He goes, yeah, but your friend did and you're with your friend. So I don't want both of you in here anymore. I'm like, homie, it's not like we shoplifted or anything. It's not like we stole stuff off the shelves. Like, I get that what she did was a little weird, but like, you can't be banning us from your store for that. He goes, I can do what I want. I'm the manager. Now, even though this guy was right, he was the manager and he can kind of do what he wanted, I still think it was a little bit unjustified to ban me from the store for something I didn't even do. So after I keep trying to argue with this guy, he ends the combo by saying, look, you can either leave now or I call the police and have them make you leave. I'll give you one second to decide. And I stand there for a second, just looking really confused and kind of angry. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go, Sarah. So me and Sarah leave the store. We walk out to her car and she goes, I don't care. It was worth it. I made 50 bucks. I'm like, yeah, did he pay you? She goes, yep, he did. And even though I was a little bit mad at Sarah for getting me banned from that store, she sent me half the money because she felt bad that I had to go down with her. So yeah, I got $25 out of it. Got banned from the store, but I got $25, which is cool, I guess. And uh, fast forward a week later, my mom had to go there and grab something from that Best Buy. And I went with her because I wanted to test my fate. I wanted to see if I was actually banned from that store. So I got in the car with my mom. Me and my mom walk into Best Buy. We walk in there. I see that same manager standing there by the desk. And I look at him and he looks at me. We make very awkward eye contact for like, I don't know, like five seconds. And then he starts walking up to me. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh no. So I tell my mom, I'm like, hey, I'll catch up with you. Like, go look at what you got to look at. I'll be right back. And I start walking up to that guy to meet him halfway. And we both walk up to each other. And he goes, hey, didn't I tell you not to come back here? And I was like, yeah, you did. He goes, cool. So why are you in my store? I'm like, I don't know, man. Just kind of felt like coming back. Had to do some errands, you know? He goes, what was your name again? I'm like, Austin. He goes, well, Austin, just watch yourself, man. I'll let you stay in the store. I'll let you keep coming back. But if you mess up one more time, you're actually banned, okay? I'm not a fan of second chances, so don't mess this one up. And I go, okay, Mr. Best Buy manager, man, I'll try not to. And I kind of did like a half smile when I said that. And he goes, I'm not joking. Don't make a mockery of what I just said. I was like, I'm not. He goes, okay, whatever. And he turns around and he walks away. And I go and I find my mom and we continue our shopping. So yeah, moral of the story is don't do what Sarah did. But yeah, guys, in the end, everything was all good. I didn't get banned from the store. I was all good. And that's pretty much it. I thought the story time was a pretty funny one. Thought you guys would enjoy it. If you enjoyed the story time, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.